Well, some of the roads in Oslo have finally opened after floodwaters forced them to close late this spring. But some gravel roads are still in need of repairs. Debris remains strewn all across fields outside their levee system. Valley News Team's Aaron Walling spoke to folks in Oslo today about what comes next. After many days dealing with the flood waters, the people of Oslo are happy to see the roads back open. We were subject to boating stuff in uh, during the flood and people were trapped in town. There was no traffic through town, so yeah, it's very important to have these roads open and going again. In late April, we couldn't even drive into town due to the water levels, but now those have receded. For some, it seemed like they lasted forever. By the end of that, it was like, all right, this has to be done. We need things back to normal. Um, it was good to get the roads open, but there's still country roads that are not open due to washouts, so that's still a challenge. The next step is to tackle the debris that was left behind and fix the roads. We got FEMA involved so that everything takes a little time, but it's still, it's going to take some time. I mean, it's, we got debris to clean up, gravel to haul in. It's, it's a mess still. According to Mayor Erica Martins, if it wasn't for the permanent flood protection plan, many parts of the town would be in serious trouble. But the town remains safe, thanks in part to the work of folks in the community. I tell you what, you can't beat it up here. I mean, it really brings out the genuine care and giving of a community um, for everybody to come out. I mean, everybody who was left here donated their time, donated food, donated and just gave and participated. And it was it was so great to see. In Oslo, Air Walling, Valley News Live. The mayor hopes to have the town cleaned up for the upcoming Oslo Days event in August.